Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. I'd like to welcome you here to this training session. In today's session, we're going to be covering how to scalp and day trade your way to financial freedom on the Forex markets, particularly using the Renko charts. Now, Renko charts are fantastic as you're about to see if you wish to scalp the market. So, I'm going to be sharing with you a number of techniques and giving you a whole lot of ideas. So, as we do get underway, what is really important is that I pull up the risk disclaimer. I think you already know this there is a risk in trading, that is the very reason why you must learn how to trade correctly from day one. So, please feel free. I'm not going to read the whole disclaimer, but please feel free to pause the video to read. The disclaimer now just a very quick advertisement and then we'll get on with things if you click on the link below you can also download a copy of my free ebook the truth about day trading and it probably even more importantly one of my training manuals where I cover a whole lot of different topics in this manual you can visit my website to do that also please subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept up to date I've got a new series of videos that I'm recording now every week uh, for both stocks futures and the Forex market so if you want to be kept up to date with the latest trading strategies ideas and techniques this is a channel to do it now I've also got to say read the latest well you know what I think it was Gan that famously said many years ago there was there's nothing new under the Sun I've been trading now and day trading for over 26 years and very rarely do I come across anything brand new it's about you know what you'll find is traders the best of the best strategies are usually the simplest there's no need to spend thousands of dollars mastering the art of day trading any market for less than $200 you can get underway traders there's no need to go and buy expensive indicators software and all the other things or spend thousands of dollars on your education for very quickly here I just want to be and when we'll get on to this for less than 100 and uh, less than I should say $200 you gain it's actually now over 16 of the world's best day trading strategies and I'm about to show you some of them and guess what they're not rocket science so if you visit my website you can get further information I provide all of my indicators free of charge there's that now over 200 hours of online video instruction and as I mentioned over 16 setups now but I, I want to also say this there's no need to be overwhelmed traders what you do in mastering the art of any market trading any market you start with one setup and I'll show you which one to start with and you build from there once you own that setup you then go to the next one and once you own that one you go to the next one this is the way you master the art of day trading now what exactly is scalping now scalping in short is the idea of taking very quick short trades so we're typically trading a smaller time frame now when we trade smaller time frames it usually means uh, if you're like me where I'll tuck my stop loss under the closest swing low or swing high it also means a smaller stop now we simply want to grab a small profit and move on to the next but we can also trail now in taking profits I've got over 16 strategies that you can use once again I give all my traders all the different types of strategies but I focus on only a couple because it's very very easy to suffer from what we call um, uh, gee whiz let me get rid of this uh, let me just close this down sorry traders I've got an alarm that keeps going off here we've got a very big move here in the Forex markets at the moment let me just uh, close this now what you're looking at there which you are going to learn more about in a moment this is actually the Renko chart this is a two tick so as we can see there's just been a major announcement and we're going to, we perhaps it's beyond today's session now this is a two pip Renko did I say two ticks on on the Forex oh sorry on the futures markets we talk ticks Forex we talk pips and as you can see this is not tradable now so what you can do is in if you get a really fast market yet we wish to trade um, a time base we might go to a 15 or a one minute yes we will go down sorry to a 15 second candle in trading the futures markets why because you know when the candles going to close the challenge is big candles I want you to remember traders are evil but let's 
come back to these because I really want to finish what I was saying here so you can do really great things scalping so we might execute 20 trades in a day <clears throat> excuse me but what you do want to consider here is commissions and spreads okay that's very very important is that uh, you need to make sure of course that you're generating sufficient profits particularly on the forex markets because what we see in times of high demand we can see the spreads really widen and that's one advantage we have over forex traders with the futures traders because typically we're paying it around four dollars round turn where you might pay one and a half pips on a full contract on a standard lot which might be $15 so commissions can really eat away so it's very very important that if you're trading Forex that you have a very um, scalp a friendly broker and that's what we prefer to deal with an ECN straight through processing you've got to really watch those market makers traders so you've got to just be really careful so make sure you spend the time in googling and looking very carefully at the broker you're dealing with now <clears throat> I don't um, I'm very neutral um, broker neutral so please don't email me and ask me about the brokers because I deal with that many uh, I don't recommend any specific Forex broker because otherwise I'll miss out on the referrals the clients that they actually send me so let's now look at the type of charts if you're scalping and day trading so what I didn't say here is sometimes there's a very fine line between scalping and day trading day trading you might be in a trade maybe up to three or four hours but with both scalping and day trading we don't hold overnight positions we're in and out we're in and out and once again what I cover here traders the same setups and the same information I'm giving you here is just as applicable if you're trading stocks futures or Forex it's all the same thing okay uh, that is I know that different markets have their own personalities however all the patterns I trade are geometric they work on all time frames and all markets now let's talk about the type of charts very quickly now of course time-based charts would be the most common chart that still traders use around the world but they are starting to move they're starting to move over to more tick based charts range and Renko of course is huge and you can't get volume on Forex but uh, volume if you're trading stocks or futures is very good as well now the challenge that we have with a time-based chart is that in a five-minute chart or even a, even a one minute or a three minute if you're scalping or day trading you can get a lot of movement in that time okay so there are challenges with that now in a crazy market like I'm just seeing witnessing on the screens right now this is where time-based charts can be a benefit to a degree but then you've got much larger stops and I'll give you some idea on stops when we go to the charts in a moment so my preference uh, for a, a trader if you're trading or scalping the market or day trading is either range or Renko now with MT4 and we of course we've got hundreds I've got over 8,000 members now we've got hundreds of members that use MT4 you may have to buy I do give on my website um, uh, in the members area some uh, free plugins for MT4 but I don't use the MT4 platform but um, uh, some of our members use those plugins but I also give the site where you can uh, purchase for about 49 USD dollars a really good plugging for MT4 for Renko's and for range charts where I believe it's 49 for both for a lifetime license okay so uh, I do give a recommendation there but first of all try all of the indicators I've got dozens of indicators on my in the members area that is not on the general website that members have provided for other members so you can get so try those first but I do also give you some ideas so we do prefer range and Renko now when you are scalping Renko is fantastic okay, because it removes the noise from the charts as we're about to see now once again if you don't like Renko still continue to watch because I'm going to give you some great ideas you can use on your time based chart or on your tick charts or on your range it really doesn't matter now let's remember traders that trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise all I'm looking for is a pattern that's all I'm looking for virtually every one of my setups is a pattern 
they're easy to learn um, they're, you know, they're, they're easy to spot but very important traders give yourself at 90 days you've got to treat it as a 90 day internship where I get frustrated with traders is that they want to pick it all up in a day now if you're a highly experienced trader yes you'll probably pick the patterns up in a couple of days and a lot of them may be familiar and what I say to all traders if you're already a profitable trader you continue to trade what you're doing but you say to yourself what Ray teaches how can I use that to improve what I'm already doing so let's now quickly give you a couple of ideas before we go to the charts first of all I trade with multiple time frames now I'm not going to go through the formulas that I use but I've discovered a really magical formula with trading these now this is a little screenshot I took off the internet somewhere I can't remember where it was but the dark blue line represents an anchor chart I like two anchor charts for a brand new trader you would start with one and first of all you only want to trade in the direction of the higher time frame to begin with we get a pullback a retracement we get a trend continuation bang bang and these turning points of course and you'll see some when we go to the screenshots in a moment you'll see up to the live charts I should say these are divergence trades and we've got a number of different divergence trades your lowest uh, your lowest percentage or probability divergence trade is we've got a divergence trade on your lowest time frame what we call the EC the entry chart and your highest are when you've got divergence on a higher time frame then it's how we enter those trades so first of all we only want to trade in the direction of the overall trend now I won't pull the chart up today we've got the spreadsheet that we show that if, if you're run earning $200 a day and you can easily do that let me put up the disclaimer once you're highly experienced and if you follow all of the rules okay $200 a day per contract and you need around five to six thousand for to do it correctly on either a futures contract or a forex within 16 weeks just 200 a day you can be up to earning ten thousand dollars a week now the spreadsheet that we use is in the members area but very importantly and this is not doubling up this is only increasing the number of contracts every time you earn six thousand we start trading a second contract we earn another six we go to three this is the way you learn how to day trade but getting back to this we only initially want to trade in the direction of the trend so let me pull this up let's go back so we can see here a one minute chart but I'm going to go to a one tick Ranko on the euro okay now you can see here I've got three different time frames there but we're just going to focus for now on the one now first of all with a one tick we just saw it it's going and let's just leave this up for a moment we can see here that it's ticking away and that was flying a moment ago okay so this is 56 56 58 so this is over three minutes uh, three minute time frame now the white paper is what I call the super scalper that does not plot until I get a tick below my second candle so that's when the super scalper plots and remember we only want to trade in the direction of the overall trend okay now right there I can almost guarantee you that is a divergence trade right there now this is what we call a pivot magnet into the pivot and we now have a pivot bounce and let me just show you this okay so see there there's my divert and look at my anchor chart bang there is the divergence now that's a bit beyond the scope of what I wanted to cover but let's just go back here early when it before it went crazy now remember right now and it doesn't matter when you're watching this video in the future okay we've got the big issue in the market right now with the coronavirus now this could be a red flag news announcement it could be anything so we want to stay out of the market when we get those so let's just go back and look at some of these now I'm going to show you a couple of losses and quickly explain to you why they were losses so this is the open of a globe session and I'm using a one tick Renko now let me just start do this uh, let me go make this global and let me just go to the two tick Renko look at that action there 
if the market's pumping but you want to scalp if it's going too fast you'll go to a two tick Renko which is what we have right here so this is a two tick Renko uh, over a good one hour time period okay where with the one tick rank oh you're sort of doing that about every 15 minutes when the markets fairly much ticking so first of all if you're scalping and standard day trading what sort of orders are we generally using well if we go back to the one tick quite often we're going to jump in and use a market order which virtually guarantees you're going to get slippage if it's a fast moving market okay but sometimes you know what I call nickels and dimes if you don't take the trade you're going to miss out on the trade itself and when you go and take what we call a 2b you had a 2b just there that's a 2b uh, that there is actually a 2b um, we'll explain a couple other things they're very very high probability now each one of these bricks by the way is worth $10 US if you're trading a standard lot and one of the benefits there of course of the um, uh, currency markets forex markets you can trade a mini so rather than ten dollars a pip you can go down to one dollars a pip and of course some brokers offer micro trading so you start out on the simulator then you might go to the mini cut your teeth there with the experience of live trading then you're going to go <coughs> excuse me to the standard lots excuse me one moment just had some of my tea okay then you might go to a standard lot but that, that is one advantage you do have over the futures another one of the benefits over futures traders so you can trade a number of uh, minis before you go to a standard lot and then you might even trade one standard lot and five minis subject to your uh, money management rules so there are benefits so let's have a look at this as I said this is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise so what we've got here is a we use our EMAs for trend direction we use um, I've got a custom MACD but I'll give you the settings for a standard MACD and this is nothing more than a two smooth stochastic and of course most of my traders use a standard stochastic and I give you the settings to use there now what are we looking at here let me just scroll here this is right there we've got what we call a 2b it was just a bit earlier so there you've got a 2b you had plenty of time to execute that on the one pip if the one pip is too fast you go to the two pip traders and if you're more swing trading you might use a four to an eight pip uh, uh, Renko or go to a range now if you wanted to use a time based chart the same setups work except you'll see different size uh, uh, bricks of course or not bricks I should say bars bars or candles now if the market is slow enough this is where we'll put a, a sell stop in one tick below or here if you're going long you put a buy stop in so we're either going to use a market order a buy or a sell stop order or even a limit order but it all depends on your um, uh, but really how fast the market's moving at the time now this is an example of where divergence traders get hammered very badly we've got what we call very very poor angulation angulation is something that you very very quickly learn if you really want to master counter trend trading as well the greater the angle away from your EMAs the greater the chance you will have a pullback and a successful trade it is even greatly uh, enhanced if you've got what we also call a pivot bounce as we've got here one of the setups you'll actually learn is what we call a pivot magnet trade these aren't rocket signs and they're just common sense that when you're heading to a pivot floor pivots traders are like magnets they're probably about the only true leading indicator because they plot well in advance of time and you know where your pivots are so what we've got there is a major divergence trade we then come down we then end up with a 3b now I've got to point out here that the trades I'm telling you about are very very mechanical and rules based and 
I'd call them 95% uh, rules based what's the 5% well the 5% is do I have a trend and that's probably the most important factors uh, traders is trading with the trend you see in becoming truly wealthy and this is where traders really they, they either suffer from fear or greed that's the majority of them and if you're trading Forex uh, or futures five by five, we have a saying in our in our co I've got a live coaching room that's not a trading it's a coaching room for my members we go five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can and what that means is the eight tick or eight pip moves are your uh, two or three B's okay this is where you usually romp in at least eight pips or eight ticks every day of the week and that's worth $80 each three of those a day there is your 200 net okay now five by five are you a more your 34 B's they're more what we call your ruler ones you had one there you've got one there you've got one there might have had so much higher probability um, you've got you know, you've got to get the trend you had one right there and you usually romp five ticks so five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can this is something we teach the members uh, there's your 400 a day now we've also got a really nice ABC now a lot of these ABC setups which we can see here we've got a higher high we form a new lower low we've got up there that is believe it on about a probably a good 50 60 percent retracement it's not so obvious on your entry chart but when you go to your anchor chart it's very obvious that was too fast to trade then we had a 2b now you've got an AC2 and you've also got what divergence and look at that move now note the angulation see our price is angling away from the EMAs now we then rally up if you looked at your higher time frames you would have seen the market was coming down okay so market come on up we then add a super scalper plot the super scalper when you are uh, using trading either the two B's or your double tops you want the super scalper to plot and I've got the super scalper a version of it it's a little bit different um, but I've got it for think or swim we've got a version of it for, for MT4 I've got it coded for Ninja Trader 7 MT8 and also uh, for TradeStation now if you're using any other platform I give you the rules exactly how it works it's a, just a simple pattern and you get to learn it very very quickly when to take these based upon the white paint bar so we formed a nice little double top there which increases the probability now what I was going to say those two losses we saw back there on the um, CT trades uh, notice there was no angulation okay so we had there a, a 1d 2d still with the trend note the angulation again now when we're looking at exiting it exiting a trade whether it be a uh, a with trend or a counter trend some really important things we want to know is where is the next we're always thinking traders by the way where's my next trade where is price possibly going to reverse or bounce off when we've got the market rolling over this you know you with a very high degree of certainty you're going to get an EMA bounce as we get a really nice bounce there now here is a classic one and uh, I was doing a training session with some clients just as we were watching this just before I recorded this and so I said we want to really watch out where is the pivot and this is why it's very very important traders you learn how to trade pivots because pivots are magnets so let's just say here if you took this you've got a 2b here which are the ones where you go 3 by 8 you go for your larger targets or you've got a 34b right there and if you want to go for your even larger targets and you know you've got a pivot below look at this here what usually happens when we hit the pivot we usually get some sort of pivot bounce then we formed a little t7 a little double bottom okay you look at your anchor charts and bang away we go from there then we had a little uh, ABC then you had a 2d once again look at the angulation then you had what we call a 2BD now what exactly is a 2BD a 2BD is simply one of our high probability probability sorry let me get that out right uh, trades after a 
2d now your 2d are, are your highest probability trades when you've got divergence and bang we had then a 2bd it's a lower probability some of our members will actually wait for a second confirmation confirmation then away we go what is that there there is another pig pivot magnet now there is the pivot and bang we go right up to the pivot and about that time the market went crazy not long um, after that so the point here is trade is that yes you can scalp and day trade the Forex markets now there are certain times we, we where the market is particularly suitable for scalping now what we do know there are three main market times we've got the New York session which rolls into the Asian session which then rolls into the London session the London sessions where we have the greatest volume flow and that's where you also might need to increase your time frame of the Renko or even the range candle that you're trading and with our futures traders and trading futures uh, we've got different time frames that we'll actually use and, and with Forex too I give you the recommendations on all of these but in the end the time frame that you trade traders really comes down to uh, uh, what is tradable in other words if it's too fast we either stand aside uh, if or, or we uh, simply increase the time frame but remember when we do increase the time frame if you're going to be like me and that's what I was going to show you is where I place my stop I like to place my stop one pip to two pips below this little swing low now if you're trading a two tick uh, Renko on Forex and if you're going to place it you'll stop one pip below here and you're waiting on this t1 you're going to have typically a seven to eight pip stop okay so if I'm going to get in at the close of this third candle here and I know for the Renko crazies that yes it is a brick I call them candles same difference okay so I'm going to be in on the close which is going to get me in uh, on this fourth candle now my stops going to be one tick above if I was if that's not a trade but if it was a trade one pip above one pip below one pip above one pip below now the dots you can see here that is an ATR stop and flip I've got coded now I've got that coded only for NT8 and trade station but you can also use uh, a parabolic so I show you how to use it and parabolic SAR which is stop and reverse is available for every platform now and so you can actually uh, do a similar thing I won't go into what how we use it right now it's beyond the scope of this video but you can use a parabolic SAR some um, platforms call it a volatility stop okay so if you want to trail you can do that now for an even larger run you can then use your parabolic on a higher time frame to keep you in some of these uh, moves now as a scalper we'd be out there we'd get in here we'd be out we'd get in we'd be out now as soon as we know we're heading whenever you see price action heading up to a pivot what are we doing we're pulling our stops up we're getting ready for a possible reversal now look at that there what have you got every day of the week that is a plain vanilla a b c move now an abc quite often is not so obvious on your entry chart but you look over at your anchor chart it can be now this one really is it's a really nice abc move which means a really nice trade probably about 80 percent of the time okay here is another 2b and here is a really nice divergence trade what makes this a divergence trade here is my divergence it's also a 200 overshoot so I've got a lower low on price and a higher low a plain vanilla move so traders I trust uh, I've given you some ideas and some tips here you can do this this isn't rocket science traders unfortunately so many traders think you've got to apply so many different indicators and there's two or three indicators yes you might be able to remove from those charts but they're pretty straightforward now I mentioned uh, the 34b the 200 overshoot divergence the 2b you start with one setup 
you start by learning the 2b which is a good 80 85 percent win loss ratio and that will give you your three by eight today your eight pip plus moves your eight tick plus moves you only need three of those if you're scalping or day trading and you build from there once you own that you start trading the rule of ones the 34 B's more trend following strategies now you still need to learn divergence trading even if you're not trading divergence now why is that well when you get a really strong divergence trade such as a 2d setup you've got to be very very careful because the 2d is quite often a really good indication of a major change in trend and that's where you can jump in a with trend trade straight after a 2d yes it moves a few pips or a few ticks but then it reverses and continues back in the trade of the 2d that's just profit taking now they are what I call the 2bds they're the lower probability trade these are not rocket science this is not about intellect this is simply just about learning a handful of patterns and building from there so traders please subscribe to my channel visit my website to gain my free ebooks and for $197 traders you get over there's now over 300 hours of online video instruction full email support uh, there's uh, dozens of different types of handouts PDFs I mean uh, my Google Drive where I have everything you gain full access and you've got a lifetime license uh, you've got um, unlimited access you can download literally a mountain as they say my members say to me all the time it's a gold mine but there's so much info there you don't want to get yourself confused and that is why you take your time master the 2b go to the 34b and you build from there so it's a uh, once only fee oh and by the way very quickly is there any upsell well look if you want you can join my coaching as I've got over 200 uh, members are in my coaching uh, every month uh, and many of them have been with me for now 19 months have been in my coaching room where we go through all the hot trades of a day and so probably I think there's about 42 full-time traders now in the room where we go through if I see any trades in the globe session I'll call those uh, but most importantly um, two training sessions a day six uh, sorry a week we do two two-hour sessions a week 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. that's the only optional extra but everything I teach here is also in my program for only 197 so that's it that's the end of the ad uh, and I trust you get some ideas please feel free to drop me an email if you've got any questions but um, uh, once again those same setups you can apply to any market thank you traders